Hi, everyone. It's Chris. I'm a content developer and project management specialist here at N2K Networks. I'm also your host for this week's edition of Certbyte, where I share a practice question from our suite of industry-leading content and a study tip to help you achieve the professional certifications you need to fast-track your career growth. Today's question targets the PMP, the Project Management Institute's Project Management Professional Certification, the Global Gold Standard Cert, typically targeted for those who have about three to five years of project management experience. This is not an actual test question, but an example of one that covers an objective for the seventh edition exam, which came out in August of 2021. And today I've invited my teammate, George, to join me. How are you today, George? I'm great, Chris. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So George is a highly technical Microsoft expert, and I thought it'd be fun to see how much he knows about project management. So I know you've earned your PMP, George. Is that right? I did. And that was a long time ago, 12 years ago. Can you believe that? That's all right. I took mine quite a bit ago, so no problem. So George, before we get into the question, I'm going to share a 10-second study bit for this exam for our listeners. You've taken the PMP already, but I'd like to know if this resonates with you. So my 10 second study bit for the PMP is do a formula dump once you sit down at your testing site and get out your scratch paper because not all credential tests let you do this. And I'm not sure if Microsoft exams let you do this as well, but I was able to do this for the PMP. They do. Oh, that's good. It's a huge advantage, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And so do you have a study tip for the PMP you'd like to share as well? Well, I would just like to add on to what you were saying. You, You certainly need to dump all those formulas that are in your brain onto a piece of paper before you take the test. Chris, when I took took that exam, it was three to four hours. It took forever and a day. So my study tip would be right. when you go through practice test questions, make sure you go through the practice test questions for at least a four-hour period so that you are prepared to actually sit the exam to spend the four hours in that testing room. That would be my tip. Great tip. And it was four hours back in the day when we took it. It is now just shy of four hours, but that is still a good tip. So thank you for sharing that. All right, George, are you ready for your question? Uh, I guess so. (laughs) (laughs) You'll do fine. So here's your question. Your project team is due to submit a deliverable today and you discover a defect in it. You're aware that your customer does not have enough technical knowledge to notice this defect. The deliverable technically meets the contract requirements, but would fail the fitness to use condition, which means basically it does not meet its intended purpose. So what should you do in this situation? And here are your choices. Okay. Should you A, inform the customer that the delivery will be late? B, document the matter in the lessons learned for future use? C, deliver the deliverable, get the formal acceptance, and keep quiet. Or D, discuss the matter with your customer. So, well, George, while you're thinking this over, <laughs> let me give you, I'm going to give you a second to think about it while I give you a bit of context around this. Okay. So, the question is testing your knowledge of PMI's Code of Ethics and Professional Conduct, which is a separate document from the PMBOK. And it basically covers the moral parameters for conduct of a project manager in their profession. So basically, honesty, responsibility, respect, and fairness. So all that said, what would be your answer? Well, looking at these choices, uh, Chris, the only one that works would be discuss the matter with your customer. Let me explain why. So the first one you said was inform the customer that the delivery is going to be late. You're going to have yes. to do, uh, you may have to do that, which brings up the other, uh, another question or more questions. So that goes back to discuss the matter with your customer. Uh, document the matter uh, in future, uh, in, in lessons learned for future use. You're going to have to do that anyway. And right. uh, keep quiet. Probably not a good idea. You're going to end up getting sued. So I'm going to go <laughs> with, dis- with discuss the matter with your customer. Excellent reasoning and excellent choice. That is the correct answer, D. You should discuss the matter with your customer. So according to PMI's Code of Ethics and Professional Conduct, the project manager should protect the best interests of the stakeholders and be honest with them about the true status of the project. So discussing the matter with your customer is the best approach. Good job, George. Thank you. Thank you so much for being my project management guinea pig. Really appreciate your time today. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. 
And thank you for joining me for this week's Cert Bite. If you're actively studying for this certification and have any questions about study tips or even future certification questions you'd like to see, please feel free to email me at certbyte at n2k.com. That's C-E-R-T-B-Y-T-E at n2k.com. If you'd like to learn more about N2K's practice tests, visit our website at n2k.com forward slash certify. For sources and citations for this question, please check out our show notes. Happy certifying.